How long do you want to keep it to? 30. Hey guys, it's Sherry Summers, your revenue attraction educator. I am so excited today because this is the day. This is the day you guys get the opportunity to not just hang out with me on my lunch and learn, but also I brought another gift <laughs> for you guys today. It's your girl, Sherry Summers, your revenue attraction educator, where we teach you how to what? market and monetize your business and today you guys have been asking for it so now it is here i have the beautiful the beautiful dr laura lewis to talk to us about how to speak on stage how to get them coins right from confident to coins right speaking engagement dr laura lewis thank you so much for taking time on your business schedule to hang out with us tell us who you are and tell us what you do and I'll be over here trying to share it to everyone to get the nuggets, baby. Go ahead. So first of all, thank you so much for having me. Like, I'm so excited to be here. So I am Dr. Lewis. I teach small business owners, life-changing speakers, how to get booked and paid to speak. Speaking is my jam. It's my jam because when my practice got full, I have a practice that land a couple therapy. When it got full, I was like, I want to continue to scale my business. And so that's when I turned to speaking as a way to be able to serve and help a lot more people. And I believe that if you're doing purpose-driven work, then you should be paid well in the process. I totally agree. I totally agree. I'm going to come on here and make sure I'm going to share it out to my team of people. I want to make sure that they know what's going on. And let me tell you something. It's something powerful about trying to when you send a message or a word to heal somebody i truly believe that every conference every workshop everything that i've been through with dr laura when i went to any conference i've always someone had dropped a nugget or two to give me a new direction and a new perspective can you speak on that the power or the, of, of, of a storytelling or the message definitely i mean i can remember times in my life where I have been able to share about it on stage mm -hmm. and people walked up to me and they were like Dr. Lewis like I was about to file for divorce like I have the paperwork ready and I was ready to file but hearing you speak about marriage and how relationships can be healed and how to unbreak patterns of generational curses like hearing you speak has given me a renewed sense of hope that I can do this thing. And so when you think about it, you're going to be on stage and somebody's life is literally going to be transformed by hearing you speak. Correct. And I, and I truly agree with you. And I think uh, one of the thing is we underestimate the power of the words that God gives us to just heal somebody. Sometimes your vision is not even for you. Sometimes your vision is for someone else. Same thing you do on live events is the same thing I kind of do on live stream, right? And I'll get people in my DM, Sherry, that morning inspiration, that was for me. That was for me today because I was about to go in and tell the boss by himself, but you said something <laughs> that helped me kept going. So I just literally wanted to step in here. In this broadcast, we're going to go over three steps to get booked to paid speaking engagement because we're about our revenue. And you said something as you said, speaking is your jam, but you also said that you specialize also in marriage therapists. Can you tell us a little bit more about your practice? Sure, absolutely. So I help couples who are out on the brink of divorce. Like I help angry, distant couples to reconnect. And I do that through retreats, through seminars, through live events. And it's something just miraculous that happens when I see that a couple is distant and they're like fussing and fighting and slamming doors. And then they come to one of my events and they mm -hmm. hear me speak. And then I see them sit a little bit closer and I see maybe him putting his hand on her shoulder and I see them leaning in. And it's like, it makes me so like happy to be able to be a part of the transformation that happens when I see couples heal. And so speaking has been a way for me to be able to help so many more people. Like I remember when I did a 30 city speaking tour 
and I'm getting flown into all these different cities, coming in with my luggage and and, and seeing people in the audience and seeing tears mm. come in their eyes when they get the aha moment, when they get the breakthrough. And and I'm just thankful to just be uh, in, in some small way a part of that healing. You're so wow. Cool. So let's get to straight to it. When did you know that you could actually get paid for this? When did you know that this speaking could be your profession? So I was, I had just recently graduated and I was working for this group practice. And I remember the um, owner of the practice, he was like, you know, Dr. Lewis, I think you should put on an event. And I was like, mm -hmm. okay, sure. Like I had a meetup group, it was called Ebony Couples Meetup Group. And it was about 800 couples in there. And so I was like, I'll just share with my meetup group the event. And then I was like, do you think I should charge for it? And he was like, no, people don't pay. Um, people don't pay for speaking events. People not going to pay you to speak. And I remember at that point, I was kind of crushed. I don't know if you guys have ever been there for anybody listening. I don't know if you've ever been in a place where someone told you that you couldn't do something. And maybe it was someone that you trusted. Maybe it's someone that you believed in and they just mm -hmm. didn't believe in what you wanted to do. Mm -hmm. And so after that, I ended up talking to my mentor. And my mentor, his name is Dr. Tolson. And at the time, he was working for the White House for Barack Obama. And I was like, Dr. Tolson, do you think I can get paid to speak? And he was like, heck yeah, you can. You need to charge $1,500. And y'all, I almost fell out. I was like, what, $1,500? Like, I literally could not wrap my mind around somebody writing me a check for $1,500. Like, I couldn't see it. Mm -hmm. And that's all I stand from our book. That's all stem from our belief system, right? That all stem mm -hmm. from we not knowing our value, our words. We not know, not believing what we're worth. Hey, guys, if you're just joining me, I have the beautiful, the beautiful Dr. Laura Lewis in the house. She is the expertise in how to speak on stage, how to get booked, busy, and be able to speak on stage. Tag somebody that you know right now that want to learn how to speak on stage. Tag somebody that you's interested in learning. We're drop, about to drop the nuggets. Share this broadcast. This is our lunch and learn. It's going to be good. You guys have been asking me about how did you do your life camera profit tour? How did you go around the place speaking and, and, and using that as a revenue attraction coach? I'm bringing y'all the nuggets right now. Go ahead and share this broadcast. Tag somebody right now that you know. Emily, I see you. Russell, I see you so well. Thank you so much. Go ahead and tag somebody. Cynthia, I see you. Isaac, I see you. Thank you for coming in here. Go ahead and tag somebody because we want to know. There's so many people right now that want to learn how to get paid to speak from stage. And what you said to me, what you said just this second ago, like, who's going to write me a check for $1,500? Just let go ahead and tell the people, because I know you well, but go ahead and tell the people what you've been able to do, your vacations and things that you've been able to do, because we want to show them that this is reality. Go ahead. So, so he said, you should charge $1,500. And I trust him. I believe in him. He has been my mentor for a long time. And so I was like, okay. All right, Dr. Tulsa, I'm going to do it. So I ended up pitching the Chamber of Commerce to do a stress management workshop. Sidebar, every, there's a Chamber of Commerce in every city. So all of you guys listening to this can do this exact thing. And so I called the Chamber of Commerce and I was like, I'm a psychologist. I can do a workshop on this. And I kind of punked out on the fee the first time. I didn't say 1500 I said 500 And they was like, yeah, definitely. We can do that. That's in the budget. Like, no problem. They said yes so quickly. And by them saying yes so quickly, always know there's more money on the table. When someone says Come yes down. fast, you know, you know you left the money on the table. So fast forward now, I've done over 200 paid speaking engagements. I've spoken all over the country, Brazil, Asia. I'm getting ready to go on a five city tour. I'll be in London, Hawaii. Like my life has literally transformed from that moment, but it required me to step out. It required me to stay the array. It required for me to stand boldly in the gifts that I bring to the table. And if you do that, I believe you can get those high dollar speaking engagements too. 
I love it. I y'all go ahead. I'm telling you, tag that person. Y'all are in my inbox all the time about how you going these places, how you flying out these places. We are bringing it to you right now, right now. Someone who's actually do it. This is social proof, right? Now let me get into this. When you said when you talk about you start off number one, three ways to start get your get to from book mm -hmm. busy and paid, right? When you talk about your local chamber, because I say all the time, be the celebrity in your local area, right? We overlook our local area so yeah. many times, right? And I hear people say, hey, I want to move to this place. I want to move to that place. And I try to encourage them, Dr. Lewis, and said, your, your money is right in front of you. You just have to tap into your resources. So what makes you decide to, one, start in booking with your local chamber and saying, that's where I need to start? What, what, what gave you that idea? Um, what gave me that idea to start with my chamber of commerce? I don't really know, to be honest with you. I don't know what was the exact thing that made me pitch them. But one thing that I do know, and you guys need to write this down, is there are four main places that hire and pay speakers. Hire and pay speakers. Corporations, that's one place. Write it Colleges, down. churches, and conferences. And so when you're thinking about, okay, who has my dollars, right? Because your dollars are out there. Your money is out there. Start thinking about these particular places. And the way you pitch each of them is different. That's what I teach in my Castro Podium membership program, how to pitch each one of these organizations differently because it's a strategy that's involved. But I want you to know that these are the spaces that you need to be pitching. So let's go over that. The, the, go over the four steps right now. If you're transcribing for me, go ahead and transcribe these things for me. These are the nuggets, y'all. I said tag somebody that's been looking to learn how to speak from speak on the stage and get paid to do it. What was the four steps again? We go ahead. Corporation. Corporations, churches, or any spiritual institution. It doesn't have to be a church. If you're a part of a synagogue, then pitch synagogues so churches corporations conferences colleges listen we have a tendency dr lewis to it put our own belief system and say they ain't got no money them churches ain't got no money we have a tendency I have, it. I have heard like people have legit told me like dr <laughs> lewis churches say that they can't pay me but you also have to understand the power of positioning you have to position yourself of you are of high service and when you position yourself properly in the marketplace then it doesn't it, like money isn't an issue i mean think about the iphone everybody has an iphone iphones cost a thousand dollars right and so churches have paid me thousands of dollars and so if you have the limitation in your mind of like churches don't pay churches don't have a budget they they've paid me thousands i, I could have done a whole thousands. live i could have done a whole live over what you just said I could have, when you say it's a power position, right? By, listen, this that's exactly position and packaging. That's exactly what I teach my clients about. Are you ready when they call? Do you look ready? I just went over this with some financial advisors yesterday, right? I just, shout out to Sparks. I just went over this with them about, are you looking the par? So when they come mm -hmm. calling, they can say, yeah, you are worth that 2,000. You're worth that 5,000. How better way for you to see the world and get paid to receive the world? That's another benefit of being of speaking and getting the opportunity to speak. Y'all, if this is something that you're interested in, hey, Master Coach Kendra, I see you. I'm excited about our event we got going on. She has an event that, that will, I will be, but I, I don't know if I'm allowed to reveal it yet, so I will wait on that one. But this is a perfect example of what we're saying. Like I, I um, took my family to Miami to speak at an event. And when I took my family to Miami, I just brought my whole family as a part of like a vacation. And you of all, I'm sure you've done that before, you know, mm -hmm. so my family got exposure to a different place and enjoy on vacation on somebody else's that. What, let me tell you something. What are some doors that speaking has opened for you? So last year I took a month off. I just took a month off and I was like, you know what? I've been working these last 11 months. I'm going to take the month off. And I went to... Paris, I went to the south of France, I went to 
Venice, Italy. I went to Santorini, Greece, the Greek islands. Like, and I remember my mom, my mom came with me and my mom, she was a teen mom and she had all of the, like, all of the sacks were against her in, Mm -hmm. in terms of being able to make it in this life, but she did. And she, and she has inspired me in so many ways. And so the reason why this was a special moment is because my mom was looking at the Eiffel Tower and she started to cry. And I was like, mama, why are you crying? And she was like, I didn't think I was going to see this. And so I'm looking Mm. at her and I started to cry. She cried. We just a cry mess. And that's, that's the power of speaking when you now make in one hour what might have used to take you a whole month to make it gives you the financial resource the leverage to be able to transform not just your life but the life of the people around you the people that you love listen we're trying to keep this at a good time you say well how long we have (laughs) y'all dr lewis that's all I've been trying to tell the people. That is all I've been building that confidence to speak live, building that confidence to ch- showcase your skills, your ability. It opens up doors for other people who wouldn't have. Your mom would not have seen the Eiffel Tower if it weren't if you weren't in the position to show it. Y- y'all need to share this broadcast. If you weren't in the position to show it to her. You right. This yeah. is all about changing your economy. It's bigger than just speaking. It's bigger than just mm-hmm. saying hey, this is the job. Like you're opening yeah. up doors that has never been opened before, right? And some of y'all have some amazing stories and amazing things that you've been through. Some amazing scars that you're wearing that you need to tell people how you got over. You developed that wound, and now that wound is healed. And now you're gonna be like, okay, how did I get this? Y'all go ahead and share this broadcast. Tag that person that been wanting to get paid to speak and don't know where to start she is dropping nuggets she's already telling you the four places that you need to start with and we have a tendency to go beyond our backyard when the answer to everything we need is right in our backyard now you're telling me that you took off and you after you took off you literally went to all these countries to get spade to speak so how how did the dollars consistently come in like what 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 do you think that what is the biggest challenge you think people are, are are doing or not doing to where they're not getting they're losing that hope of getting a speak engagement. Well, the first thing, and I'm a psychologist, so I'm gonna talk about the mindset. The first thing is your mindset because I can teach you all the strategies to get books to speak, but if your mindset is jacked up, then you won't do anything, right? And so that's the first thing is getting your mind right. And when I say your mind right, I mean, first understanding that you have unique gifts and understanding that those gifts are worthy of being paid. Mm -hmm. And then the next step is understanding that it's work involved in managing and maintaining a business. And sometimes I think that people get involved in doing busy work and they feel, they feel like they're working, but they're just doing a bunch of random stuff that's not actually producing in their business and so when i say um income when i what i mean is income generating activities Mm. and so for the speaker the income generating activities is not just when you're on stage right like that's the jazzy time that's when we put on the heels that's when we are just like all done uh ready to go but that's not the total income generating thing and so understanding that part of income generation is pitching Set enough time to pitch. Set enough time to do market research. So when you get on the phone with the corporation, you know how and what to say to close the deal. Mm. So you said uh, set enough time for pitching. So let's 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 step back just a little bit. Set enough time for pitching. We also went over the fact that you need to look like you're ready, right? You because these corporations are going to search for you. They're going to look at what your Facebook page, your social media handle. They're going to look at your website. They're going to look at all these things that because the money you're asking them to pay you, you want to you want to look like the expertise in your field. And that's I, listen. I say this all the time. You should look like you have already arrived, just waiting on them. So this is where your media kit 
and all that comes in, guys. This is where you good, good image, good branding. I was just talking to a new client today that I was just talking to her about new images, fresh images, fresh ideas, fresh things, fresh branding. So when they come looking, I say, okay, why does she want to want this? This is why, because she is a, an expert. Another thing too, like you said, set time to pitch yourself, right? Mm -hmm. Pitch yourself and be okay with no, because sometimes no doesn't mean no. Sometimes mean no what later, no, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And that's happened to me before where I was on a multi-city speaking tour. A company had hired me and paid me to do a multi-city speaking tour. And so I'm just doing my thing, delivering, right? Because that's part of booking multiple speaking engagements is when you do hit the stage, make sure that you are prepared to deliver and so I do the speech and then someone comes up to me afterwards and there's some specific strategies that I teach on how to book multiple speaking engagements out of one but someone comes up to me and he's like I really enjoyed this talk I would love for you to come and deliver the same talk to my staff I have a staff of 20 people I want you to come and do this training for them and I was like okay cool awesome now sometimes in our mind what we can tell ourselves is okay so it's on them they're gonna reach out to me they're gonna call me no your money is inside your follow-up and so what i did what did i do what y'all think what y'all think fortunes in the follow-up baby i say that in my live camera profit group today i said that fortunes in the follow-up yes. yes so fortunes i followed up follow -up. and i was yeah. like it was great to meet you you know i know you mentioned that you have this organization that they can benefit from having this training let's set up a time where we can do it he wasn't really checking for me in that moment. He was like, you know what? I'm kind of busy right now, which is cool, right? He was like, I'm kind of busy. This isn't a good time. We're going through an audit. And for most people, for most people, they would have heard that as a no, it's over, go to the next person. But no, I'm following up. I'm, I'm not, And I'm not relying on my memory to follow up. You're in business. We are business owners. So we do work like we're business owners. And so I put a note in my calendar. Okay, follow up with him on this day. So I followed up with him um, on that, that like a few weeks later. And then, and I just said, hey, what's up? How's it going? I didn't even go into my full picture at that point. You know, just kind of breathing into the water. And he immediately was like, oh, yes, I remember you. I want to bring you in, right? And so it was a $3,000 talk, just like that. $3,000 talk, just like that. And a lot of people wouldn't have followed up. A lot of people would have given up at the first no, but understanding that, your fortune lives inside your follow-up. Your fortune live inside your follow-up. And another thing too, you just said a $3,000 talk, which I'm sure that talk was probably two hours or an hour or something in that nature. Some of y'all right now, right now under the sound of our voice, right? If this is something that you're looking to do, if this is speaking engagement, is something you're looking to do, go ahead and give me a three, a three in the chat so I can know who our audience are. Go ahead and give me three in the chat if this is speaking engagement, is something that you want to add another revenue income to your business right now. Some of you guys are already in a nine to five and you're the expertise and you want to take that information that you're doing, your engineer and and you are a therapist or you're a life coach and you're doing all your, your real estate, whatever it may be. And you can create another stream of income by getting paid to speak. Go ahead and give me a three in the chat. Angelita, I see you. I see you. Thank you for your transparency. I see you. I see your comment. If this is another revenue stream, if you guys are just following me or just started following me the other day, I'm all about helping women increase their earning power right? Increase your earning power. Well, how many other ways can you add another stream of income to your life, right? How many other ways? And she just told you for two hours, how long would that take you to make $3,000? How long? Now, of course, you got to have your preparation and you got to have your topic and you got to practice and all that. But I want you to get in that mindset, like how long would it have took you to make $3,000 on a regular job or something? right? Is this something you can do? Is this something you can add to another revenue stream? Go ahead and give me a three in the chat, three in the chat. If this is something that you think that you definitely want to add to your revenue stream. Now, when you said that he, 
uh, what about travel and lodging? Do you ha have you had the opportunity for these uh, speak these people are calling you corporation the the churches and community to pay for your lodging when you travel? Because I know you travel a lot. <laughs> Yes, I've gone to over 20 countries. I'd love to travel. Um, the first time I flew on a private jet, I was like, this is, yes, like, <laughs> like I went this. You know, it's something flying first class, but flying on a private jet, that just, whoo, eye-opening. Because, see, I come from very humble beginnings. And growing up in Pensacola, Florida, I experienced a lot of poverty growing up. And when I graduated, I felt like I have made it. And mm -hmm. when I wasn't seeing the outward financial success at that point, I started to get defeated. And I remember having to get on food stamps. And I was like, Lord Jesus, I know you ain't called me into coming out of the hood that I came out of just to struggle. I know that's not my portion and so I continue to press forward and I, I want you guys to understand the importance of continuing to press forward even when it looks like it's not gonna happen because there was a time right during that moment where I was on food stamps and I was like Lord Jesus you gotta make something happen God sometimes you gotta get on your knees and really talk to God and so I it was like around it was around Christmas time one year a few years ago and I just I was like something has got to happen sometimes you just got to get fed up and that's where I was and rock so I bottom. just picked up yeah exactly rock bottom and so I just started going through um a list that I had of organizations and so I was calling these government agencies and just saying like you know hi I'm a psychologist I speak on this topic and then a lot of them was like it's at the Christmas like why are you calling us we ain't nobody here anyway like the government is closed and it just so happened it just so happened that one of the organizations was like you know what we need someone to come in and do a talk to help train our employees on this topic and sometimes you got to go through a few no's to get to your one yes and maybe maybe you got to go through 10 no's to get to your one yes but it just so happened that that one government agency that I spoke to that turned into a hundred thousand dollar contract hundred thousand dollar contract Girl. Y'all listen, if you're just tuning in, it's your girl, Sherry Summers. We're in our lunch and learn, y'all. I love to bring you the nuggets. If you're missing, yes, you heard her right. She said a $100,000 contract. You heard it right. Go ahead and tag that person. Share this broadcast to the people you know who are interested, who have been saying that they want to speak and feel like there's no money in there. There's no money in personal development. I hear it all the time. And we are bringing you social proof that you can do it. You can do it. Let me tell you something, Dr. Lewis. I, I believe that the mind, once we get over, when we master ourselves, when we master our self-mastery, because girl, I could touch rock bottom is a requirement for mountaintop. I say all the time, because if you don't hit that rock bottom, you will never build the confidence to say, I'm gonna call all these people during Christmas time. I'm gonna get <laughs> radical. And I'm gonna call all these people. Listen, if people are coaching with me, they know I am a no excuse zone type of coach, right? And when you have to hit rock bottom to say, okay, I'm gonna call all these people. I know it's Christmas. Here people are telling you that they can't do it right now when people are telling you all sorts of things and you're like, okay, what do I need to do? Like, I don't care. I'm gonna push through. I'm gonna press on and tell, and then you seal a contract, a hundred thousand dollar contract because you press forth. How many people would have done that? Y'all, if this is good, go ahead and give me a two in the chat, y'all. If y'all are enjoying this, go ahead and give me a two in the chat. If you're gonna be reaching this hashtag replay, let me tell you something. This, if this is good, go ahead and give me a two in the chat. If, if talking or speaking or getting paid to speak is something you've been thinking about doing that you haven't, that $100,000 should have woke you up, right? It should have woke you up. And I want to just touch on, you already went on the location of where to speak. You already want, went on pitching. You already went on arriving, looking like you have already arrived. See, the problem is we're not, we're not wanting to invest in ourselves 
Mm -hmm. Girl, let me speak on let me speak. L listen, so you invest in ourselves to know what to do, how to show up, right? And that mm -hmm. one of the worst thing when someone calls you for something and you don't have it ready. Like you're sitting here saying, listen, Sherry, I got the food stamp. It was cri Christmas. I started going through my entire list. Who knows to even create a list? I didn't miss a word you say, right? Who knows to create a list? Success leaves clues. Come on now. Like, take all the nuggets. Write them down. Yes, baby. Yes, I was born to win, and when I will do, and I'm taking everybody with me. So with that being said, who knows to say, let me list, have a list of people. And in your short time, the money's in the list. You went through that list and say, I got to find somebody. And people are telling, girl, please, the government is closed down. And you found one person to pick. How would you even know what to pitch the person, the amount? How would you even know that the amount to pitch them? And see, that's where, and I'm so glad that you said it, is the power of investing in yourself. And see, a lot of times we want all of the free stuff. Like we want the free training, the free master class, and we Thing, we're gonna build a million dollar business off of free stuff and that's not how it works like I had to make investments in myself to just expand my understanding of what is out there how to price myself how to package myself what type of branding materials I need like a video reel out there those high dollar I'm gonna just I'm gonna take my own video and then you want someone to pay you a hundred thousand dollars and you got selfies as your like all your pictures it doesn't work I love it I love it I, I have this thing where I, all my question I say how much money you want to make and I said well how much money are you willing to invest to make that money every month right because let's, let's say money's energy money's energy so, mm -hmm. so it's not even like okay don't allow money to be a habit to stop you from getting a hundred thousand dollars let's put it like that right right but it's the if, mm -hmm. if you have a word that was given by God to change a marriage in your case to change a marriage yeah. to stop somebody from going through a divorce to 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 mm -hmm. stop kids from breaking up you have powerful words that was given to you and if you are not showing up in your purpose then guess what there's there's marriages that won't get healed right trust yeah. me i know i've been there there are things that are not going to happen because you're not walking in your purpose because you allow mm -hmm. money to stop you right i just did this on right. igtv i just did it on it's sherry summer's igtv i talk about this you are given a gift and then your job mm -hmm. is there god calls a certain amount of people to be in position to hear you speak right whether it's live videos whether it's live events to hear you speak and because you won't show up in your gifts because you won't show up with confidence in your gift, these people may never be healed because you made it about you. You're you're afraid of me. You're making it about you. So we're trying to say, you know, guys, there's somebody's telling you, I hit rock bottom. And I started calling yes. everybody I know. And it's Christmas time. I know how that feeling Christmas time. We ain't thinking about no job business. I can be, I'll be that person. That you call. And, you're, and every time someone say, you know, that heart just go, oh. Mm. Oh, uh, uh, but what if, what if you had give up on the first one? Y'all share this broadcast. Come on now. Come on now, y'all. Share it. What if you had give up on the first no? We're not talking about three. Yeah. And it, right. I mean, I think of there's there, mm. there were so many no's that I had to go through. There was so many like bottom moments that I could have just said, all right, like when my first, um, supervisor said, well, you can't get paid in this industry. You can't get paid to speak. I can't tell you how many people have told me that. Nobody's going to pay you. People don't pay speakers. People have told me that so many times. And so I think you just have to hold on to what you believe about what you're going to have in your life. And, and understand that each mountain you climb, it strengthens your muscles. And so sometimes you have mm. to go through those notes so that it can build your bounce back muscle. So that when you do get in a conversation and they say, well, what is your rate? You can stand boldly. It's a hundred thousand dollars for this. Wow. It's a hundred thousand dollars to hear me speak for two hours. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and and let me, let me say this. Cause I hear this all the time. I, I get this all the time too, is 
when should you start charging? Because I know there are times where you may not charge for free, but you may sell something. Dr. Lewis, can you help us out before in the short time that we have left? Y'all should have tagged somebody. Y'all could have should have shared this mm-hmm. broadcast because it was good. Share when it out. Because I get this all the time. Sherry, should I charge him to speak? Should I not? Should I do it for free? When do we change from being doing it for free? Or when should we change from from literally um, getting paid. What would you say about that? You know, there are times people call you for conferences and they expect you to do it for free. And you're like, "Uh uh-uh. But there's other ways you can still make a profit even if it's free, right? Mm -hmm. So can you touch on that Mm -hmm. a little bit? Because those are questions I get all the time. You are just asking all of the good, good questions. Okay, so it's a strategy. It's a strategy. If you are speaking somewhere and it's your target market, and it's what you what you have to offer you have passive income products to offer like things that you can deliver on that don't necessarily require your physical time then that can be a great win for you it could be a great win for you so like say for example i speak a lot to small business owners that would like to book more speaking engagements say for example someone asked me to come to speak and it's that audience And I know that I have things that I can support them in and growing their speaking business, then it makes sense. It makes Mm -hmm. sense. But if somebody's asking you to speak and one, you don't know how many people are going to be there. It's their first time ever doing that event. So the estimated numbers that they give you are probably not accurate. Like they tell you, oh, it's going to be 500 people there. You show up and it's like five people there. And, and you have to travel, then it doesn't make sense for you to do that because you're going to go, like you're going to lose money going to deliver on that type of event. And so those are just some initial questions that you want to ask to help you gauge on whether or not it would even make sense for you to waive your fee. How many people are going to be there? Is travel going to be involved? Can you pitch? What do you have to offer that would make sense for that audience? I love it. I love it uh, because um, because I know we in, when we're just starting out, we get nervous and say, yes, yeah, we just say yes without thinking about yeah. the plan time, think about what we're going to offer and, and, and think of now. Now, I this is the last question I have for you before we end. Y'all, this is good. This is good, y'all. I know some people are, are, are charging to get to speak on their stage their stage what do you say about people who says listen she's charging me to speak at her events but i have to pay her i know you probably heard that before what would you say towards that Mm -hmm. um, a couple schools of thought one school of thought is um if sponsorships right like there's sometimes where sponsorship makes sense like mm-hmm. it's uh, the timing of when you're going to be able to get on stage makes sense. Like we know that the time just before lunch, um, you also want to consider how many people are going on stage to make mm-hmm. an offer. Because mm-hmm. if it's a lot of people that's going on stage and it's just a pitch fest, then that may not make sense for you. Yeah. You know what I mean? So those are yeah. some things that you want to consider when you're thinking about a model like that. When you're thinking about a model of I'm going to pay. Now I, I have, I just, I have never paid to get on stage. I haven't, but I have seen some of my clients where it's made sense for them. Like Mm -hmm. one, um, one person in particular, I'm thinking about, they spoke on stage. Um, they had an offer at the end and the offer was, I want to say a thousand dollars. It was a thousand dollar offer. And it was like a hundred people in the room. They closed 10% of the room. And so, you know, those numbers make sense. Right? Mm-hmm. And so, yes. Yeah, so you got to just look at, well, what is my conversion rate? What's the price point of what I'm offering? Awesome. Awesome. So I know, I know. Everybody I- got it. I know you're, you're, you was breaking up just a little bit. So I know I will be seeing you soon, very, very oh. soon, right? So here's my thing. Before you get off, Dr. Lewis, where can people find you? Where can people connect with you in case they want to know more information? Sure. 
Sure. So you can connect with me to my free training. So I have a free training on getting started speaking. And so for those of you who are like, all right, Dr. Lewis, this was good, but I need to just get a little bit more on some of the things that I need to know to brand myself, some of the materials that I need to kind of position myself so that I can get those $3,000 talks. And then for those of you who are like, I need some of you in my life, like I need to go just a little bit deeper, hold my hand through this thing, then my Cash Napoleon membership would be a great option for you because in that I teach you how to pitch like what to actually say on the phone we do Q&A calls every single month and so that would be a great option for those people I love it. I love it. And I love it because I have went through her membership for, uh, I love it because she got number nuggets, nuggets, nuggets in there. So I love it. And I'm excited to be seeing you in Atlanta, right? We'll be in Atlanta together. I'm excited to be yes. coming to your event. I'm so, so, so glad that you took the opportunity. And any final words to our beginner people who are trying to speak on stage, any final words to encourage them to get them going? Anything you want to say to close out? So to close out, I want to say that you've got to believe in yourself, believe in yourself and, and charge your rate and double it, put some tax on that rate. <laughs> and, 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 and sometimes that means like being, not giving everybody access to you. Like there's some mm -hmm. doors that I got to just say no to. It's not a good match for me. And so don't be afraid to walk, a, walk away from any tables that it's not, it doesn't make sense for you. Know that God has something better for you. Each door that you have to say, no, I'm walking away from. And invest in this lady. Share it. Like you are doing amazing stuff. I love your energy. I love how you can just jump on a quick Facebook Live. I think that's how we connected. You did a quick yes. video. I was like, I love her. And so guys, make sure you stay under her, learning from her, discovering ways that you can build that confidence in getting on live because this lady right here, she is going places. <laughs> I love it. Claim it, girl. Yes, 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 yes. And so, and I'm taking you and everybody else with me. I thank you so much. You can go ahead when you get a chance and opportunity to drop that free elite uh, if, thing that you say you had for us. Go ahead and drop it in the comments so everybody can benefit from that and on your website so people can come find you. I know you'll be back soon on our lunch and learn, on our lunch and learn. So guys, listen, I thank you so much for taking the time out. I thank you so much much for listening to about speaking on stage i'm so excited this was so good but we gotta go we gotta go we were so excited i am so happy that i have the opportunity to meet this amazing lady and i see you in atlanta very very soon so i'll talk to you later dr lewis okay So I end the watch party and stop.